Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Ha! Gay! I think I'm gonna start making this a thing. F work! <laughs> so, hey everyone, welcome back. So, <laughs> this is a bit of a crazy one for me. <laughs> it's literally my favourite look I think I've done yet. <laughs> I'm in absolute love. It's so good. Um, so yeah, if you want to like hear the story of how this came about, um, if you follow me on Instagram and that you probably already know, uh, it didn't start off like this. But yeah, if you want to see how I create this unicorn inspired look, keep on watching. Okay, if you see my backdrop, like move it's like because i've got the window open it, I, like, i'm not haunted honestly so i'm just gonna like freshen up a bit oh uh, yeah by the way if you see me look that way it's because i've like it's the first time in forever since i'm like recording with a bigger monitor screen kind of thing well it, it's kind of big it's I don't, I am figured out how to like stretch it to the full screen, it's like still a little bit small but it's better than like my viewfinder on my camera and I've also got a mirror below me as well. So I'm just gonna like freshen up a little bit. Foundation, I've got the Dior Forever um, and yeah I'm just gonna freshen it. So I'm just gonna take some Benefit Professional. I kind of like this but I kind of do it at the same time. I've, like I do want to do it, it's a love-hate relationship. So I'm just putting that on there and then I'm going to do a bit. I did this the other week and oh my god it was so good. It literally covered my paws. Better doing it this way than the other way, it was weird. So that should take some of my shine away as well. Delicious. Just going to add a bit of bronzer as well. This is just contour but I'm just going to like add a teeny bit of bronzer. So I'm bronzing with the MUA and the Morphe R2 brush. have some cheap burns into this bitch. Okay so last night I had like a bottle of wine and I decided to like play about with makeup. So I like kind of played about, I'll insert a picture or try to. Um, so I've had a, like a unicorn like eye look in my head and I just got the Jolie Beauty Royale palette and I just decided to have a little play with some of the colours that I haven't used yet. I ended up creating this look so I'm, I really wanted to like recreate it to, in a different, in an actual video because I really enjoyed the look um, but I also wanted to do like hopefully a tardier version of it um, and also I think I want to add like a little bit of a glitter so I want to like do like an eye look that you can wear but I want to make it video friendly <laughs> like I added a bit of a twist to it so we'll find out like what well, you've probably already seen you'll find out at the end what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna prime my eye as usual using my NYX full coverage concealer literally use this all of the time so I really need some revolution um, conceal and fan but in the white shade just so that like whenever I'm using bright colours that it like I really get the most out of them in the pot just gonna set that with this shade here I kind of wish this ha this palette had um shade names like no like royal names like I kind of do Kate, the Duke, like do you get what I mean? Another thing that I'm kind of bummed about in this palette as well, it doesn't have a transition shade, like it's got this and I, it's got that colour and I really like that colour for like helping to blend but it doesn't have a transition shade. So I can't actually remember what brushes I used for what last night so I'm just gonna like have to kind of wing it so I'm gonna be taking this Morphe brush it doesn't have a name on it I'm gonna be taking this dark shade here I used this last night and it was a little bit scary to use but here we go 
I just used this one for my transition shade and as you can see it's like dark but it's not as dark as it is in the pan now what I ended up doing last night was kind of like a halo eye so I'm going to repeat that today I absolutely love this palette there's literally it, it, it's really really pigmented but there's no kickback or anything it's like one of the best palettes I've used. I'd say this palette and the Jaclyn Hill one are probably my favourite palettes of all time. Um, I've used the Violet, like a Violet Boss one, the Rainbow one, and obviously my Jaclyn Hill. But literally this palette and the Jaclyn Hill one are like 10 out of 10s. I did it on an Instagram live and I'm kind of fuming because it just like, it cut off on me. I don't understand why it cut off. Does anyone else struggle with like the left eye? I mean, I'm right-handed and I really, really, really struggle with my left eye. Okay, that's like somewhat of the base down. It's kind of a bit draggy, but the look that I'm going for is like quite out there anyway, so. I'm taking this shade right here. Like, look at this. See if I can get you in. Like, I'm literally going in and there's like a teeny bit of fallout, it's like, oh my god. So with this, I'm just going to pop it right here. I hope I can remember how I did this last night, because I probably can't. Do you know what I find weird? Like, we pram our eyelid, but when we're doing underneath, we don't pram underneath. Is that just me? So I'm just going to really pack the colour on. I was going to use a brown backdrop, but I'm kind of using it for a Jeffree Star look. <laughs> and then with this, I'm just going to ever so slightly connect it a little bit. Just taking a clean, like, regular fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend these just to... Yeah, just to blend them a little bit more. And then taking the previous brush that we laid um, our base transition shade, our base shade, whatever, I'm just going to... Go back in with no extra product, just just to blend really. Okay, I'm not really sure what other colours I used in the outer corners. I'm not really sure I did use any other colours in the outer corners. But I'm just going to take a little bit of this shimmery purple. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that in there as well. But mostly like through this crease bit here, just to add some dimension to the look. So with another clean brush, I'm just going to be taking this shade, that one there, and I'm just going to make sure like these bits are blended out seamlessly. It, I just found that it helps to like blare it a bit more, and I'm not really bothered too much about it because I'm going to be putting highlight there as well. Okay, next up, I'm just going to do a little bit of the bottom. I'm going to take this shade and mix it with this shade. And I'm just going to take that underneath, but I'm only taking it halfway again. And then with that um, nude colour again, I'm just going to do the same. Okay, now I'm not going to clean it up, because you know me, I don't clean it up, even though most people do. I'm going to be taking this colour, and I'm just literally taking it with my finger. And here we go. Oh my god, how stunning is that? Whenever I play with shimmers, like at all, I literally don't bother wetting the brush. I don't bother. I just don't bother with brushes unless I'm trying to be really, really precise. Just because, in my experience over the past like year, applying shades like these with your finger. I just, I've just got, you can see the result I get, so I don't, I don't bother faffing around with brushes and fix plus and stuff. So to blend the sides, I'm going to be taking this colour right here, and I, I'm just going to use a brush with that because I really want this blue to be like the main stage kind of thing. I'm just putting that at the sides. I find it helps to, so like, you don't want to brush it this way because then it, it'll come more into the blue you just want to like take it this way 
and I just feel as though it gives it a better effect. You see? So now I'm just taking a brush that I've had the um, purple colours on and I'm just gonna buff this in a little bit. I don't really feel as though I need to but you know. Okay, so yesterday this is where I got up to. It was a little bit messier than this and I had mascara on but we're going to be taking it a step further. So I'm just going to put this gold colour here and I'm just going to be putting this in my inner corners. Okay, so to take this eye look to the next level I'm going to be adding lashes. They're not very dramatic lashes though but oh well. Um, we're actually going to be diving into the Jolie Beauty Wonder Com palette. So to make this extra special and even extra unicorn, I'm taking. I'm going to be working with these three colours right here. So just taking my finger, I'm going to be taking this colour right here, this one, and that's going to be going in the middle of my eye. Yes, no glue of anything guys, no glue. The concentration levels are real. <laughs> yes. And then I'm hoping that it sticks. But I'm going to be taking this colour here and that's going in the middle at the bottom. And then because I'm extra as Fook, I'm going to be taking the bright pink shade there and I'm putting that in my inner corner. Okay guys, and there you have it. I went off camera to do my lashes, lips and all that jazz because me and lashes have an absolute love-hate relationship. I love how they look on me, but putting them on, no. I put highlighter on my lips as well as like a nude pink iridescent highlighter. And yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much it. I'm obsessed. I think this is one of my favorite looks that I've done to date. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already I'd really appreciate it and I never ask anyone to like and subscribe uh, and leave a comment as well if you want so yeah um, I hope you've enjoyed this video um, you'll probably see this twice because I'm recording another one I really need to start like reapplying my makeup like doing my eyes first and then my makeup because I feel like my makeup just looks shit <laughs> but yeah um, I hope you like this look and yeah catch you in my next video